It's a beautiful, beautiful day, and I am here back in Las Vegas, baby! Again, it's my old stomping grounds. I, I, I really can't uh, show what's happening to the left of me, but this lady just got fully nude taking pictures over here. But I'm here, back in Vegas. It's crazy, it's insane. It's crazy and insane for what I'm seeing right now that you can't see. This is a family-friendly YouTube channel, but I'm gonna go see all the cool things uh, that I like to see in, in this town, but I'm not going down the strip. We're gonna go away from the strip to go see all the cool stuff. So, here we go. Let's go have some fun. To be completely honest with you, I'm still kind of mind struck that the fact that like, as I was filming that, as I was recording that, this lady literally took off her dress. And you may see it, um, I don't know if you're gonna see it in the background, but she took off her dress, literally was completely nude, taking photos in front of the Las Vegas sign, while there are children literally standing next to it. That's Las Vegas for you. It wouldn't be in that type of city if it didn't have something like that, so. Let's go check out some so things So the place here. that you see behind me is the original Sunrise Cafe. Uh, it's actually located on Eastern and uh, something else. Anyways, this place right here is the best restaurant that you're gonna ever have in Las Vegas. It is the best breakfast and lunch ever. So let's go check it out. I want to show you what I got for breakfast. This actually looks really good. This is the Crunchberry French Toast from Sunrise Cafe. So if you take a look at that, it needs literally no syrup because everything is just kind of already marinated with crunch berries and um, jam and some icing along with some sausage and some eggs. And I have been waiting a very, very long time to eat sunrise so when I left I really enjoyed this restaurant they don't have one in Orlando but they have one here and unfortunately my buddy isn't working today so I guess it's just me today bon appetit let me give you a little bit of a rundown on how different Vegas has changed from the last time that I was here um, before all parking was free uh, for locals. So if you, uh, if you lived in Nevada and you had your Nevada driver's license, you park for free. Every property right now you have to pay to park. Uh, right now there's only two properties that you don't have to pay and that's Planet Hollywood which we're in now and the Wynn because it's ritzy. Um, but I know that uh, I said I was going to try to do a little bit off strip but I kind of changed it audible because I think I want to see what's actually on the strip. Kind of like, oh, let's go to Disneyland and not see what's at Disneyland. So let's check out the strip, a little bit of the strip because when you're talking about the Las Vegas Strip, you're talking about two and a half miles of walking and that is not something I want to do today. So let's go check it out. Vegas actually opened was this Taco Bell Cantina. So. What it is, it's a lot like the big McDonald's on I Drive. But let me show you what's in here. This isn't no normal, normal Taco Bell. So you see here they have all their drinks right over here. You have your lids, you have your ice machine. Uh, they kind of cut back on some of the merch. But you can get like a Taco Bell shirt. But there's like aisles of shirts here. Uh, you can get like Las Vegas Taco Bell shirts here and purses. And then you can get all sorts of shirts and merch. 
look right here. This is the coolest because you get like the little slushies uh, right here, but you can actually add alcohol to their drinks just right over in this way. And see how it just spells Taco Bell. Well, that's not just it. It actually has an upstairs, just like the greatest McDonald's in Orlando history, but it doesn't have an arcade. That's really like one of the big key differences. Take a look up in here. Oh, they're having a team meeting. We'll be checking out up here. They have a little dining area. And then if you look down there, look at it. You see just down, down at the very bottom. They did have a DJ booth up here at one point. I think this is it right here. The DJ will come in. And just play it. Like, so here's something that's actually pretty cool to see that's actually just changed. Um, if you notice right here, this is a Rainforest Cafe. Now before, wasn't a Rainforest Cafe. In fact, this was the location of the haunted house from, uh, it was a Goratorium, I believe. So the Goratorium ran right through here. You'd walk in, you'd make a left, go up an elevator, and you'll go through like the haunted house. But now they redesigned it to be a Rainforest Cafe. That's pretty cool, interesting at the same time. And right over there where that bar is, that's where you were able to buy the tickets. And you can buy drinks. All right, so I'm uh, inside the Crystals Mall right now. There is something here that I'm gonna try to get into. I don't know if they're gonna allow me. I don't know if it's possible, but I'm gonna show you. Inside that building right there, there is a art exhibit that's actually located on that top floor. So, it's not something that a lot of people know. It's kind of like on a down low because a lot of people don't walk into the crystals. They're not looking for art. They're not looking for anything of like sort of exhibits. And they might be closed. Um, yeah, I think they're closed. Yeah, it, yeah, the door's locked. So I'm gonna have to come back and check that out. But that art exhibit, that's the thing to see by the time I leave here. So the art exhibits in the area kind of up to the game. So if you look on the ceiling, look at all the bikes that are just hanging. It's just spinning there. Now, I think the last time I was here, I probably didn't pay attention to the ceiling because you don't notice these things. But how cool is that? This? art piece it used to be at the very bottom steps of the mall but now it's down here in the aria but what it is is like a giant almost like a christmas tree ish um, but it's just counters of numbers periodically the numbers will change similar to this one right here that's counting a different like like set format for seconds but as you can see, there's a bunch of numbers all the way until you get to the very top. But back up so that way you can see, you see a five, a six, and an eight. But when you go away from it and you back up, you just see a lot of colored lights. Pretty cool. Another thing that a lot of locals don't see or know is like lots more art exhibits. This one is a collection of canoes and boats strung together to make this thing. But you won't see it because that is the back of the Aria, so a lot of people don't come through the back because it leads right here to the Mandarin. But this is actually really cool to see. All right, so we're here at the Cosmo. They actually added a couple of new stores. Milk, which is thing to do cookies, cakes, coffee, milkshakes. This place, the juice stand, I've never seen it before. Um, but over there is X Slut. 
Go get yourself some eggs, slut. Big LA uh, staple there. Um, well, that was there for a while. I remember waiting this long line for X slut. And it's an even longer line when you go to LA for it. Be like that. If you were to do go, but it's all coming back to me. If you took me like this, and if you kiss me like that, then it's all coming back to me in the water and hotel. It's all coming back to me. I can barely recall, cause I can't remember this song. Find it on SoundCloud, iTunes, smash that like. Kind of gives a little bit of a uh, rumor killer. They originally had announced that they were going to drain this lake and replace it with a shopping mall. But if you look back here, it's almost as if they don't have enough shopping malls. Because the Bellagio is 99% shopping mall. And we're going to see that here, probably here very soon. But, holy crap, I hope they don't remove any of this. Rick Flix? Just a really quick fun fact uh, about the heat in Las Vegas. It's a little different than the heat that you get from, uh, Nevada, from Florida. Uh, because in Florida, it's such a... It's wet. It's always wet. It's kind of like getting out of the shower and then turning on the heat and kind of feel that moisture all the time. It collects on your skin. Here it's a little different because it's dry. So it's kind of like sticking your head inside of an oven and just boom, you're a turkey. And a lot of times you don't feel thirsty. A lot of times you don't feel like you need water. But you're cooking from the inside. So that way... By the time you're thirsty and you realize that it's too late, you're dehydrated. So, fun fact. Both areas though, outrageously hot. I was walking inside the mall and look at that. Could you imagine owning that hoverboard? Well, does it actually hover? It has a little, the boards in the back, do you see that? It looks like it was signed by the cast and crew, but there's also a DeLorean here that's also signed by the cast and crew. Christopher Lloyd, it looks like, and I think that's Michael J. Fox on the hood. Pretty cool. That's going to be it for me uh, today. Um, again, there's going to be just a lot of stuff, a lot of content that's going to be coming out this way uh, while I'm out here. Uh, I definitely want to keep visiting the casinos, keep showing you guys kind of some things about Vegas. If you guys have never been out here, if you guys have never seen Vegas, I'm going to keep coming out to a couple of places uh, just to kind of show you guys a little bit about Vegas. But I got a couple big things lined up, really exciting about what's going to happen this weekend, if it happens, but really excited. Um, but this is going to be a lot of things, updates, so that way, you know, you're not going to be without any content. There'll be content literally every day uh, for at least the next week. Um, so it's going to be just, just vlogs of me and my friends, and uh, just me talking to you guys and taking you along to the different casinos, all of that. So. Just stay tuned. I hope you guys are having a lot of fun. Smash that like button. Smash that subscribe button. And uh, I wish I had something else to say. I'm out!